Introducing the all new Corolla. There have been a lot of questions surrounding the recent sale of teeds and property from Cortec to GovGuam. There have been questions surrounding the price of the sale and whether or not it was a good decision for GovGuam. The sale would cost around $56 million or $160 million if the payments were taken out to full term. Cortec attorney Edwin Ching. So they're comparing the end result after all the interest, maintenance and insurance and all of that to the beginning figure. That's a wrong comparison. The actual cost in itself, I think it started off at 87 million, then they took away some buildings and whatnot, so it's down to like something like 57 million. That's the cost. Ching says that the cost only goes up because GovGuam has to finance the deal through Cortec. How else can the government buy property. How else can the government improve? If they have the cash, we would rather have the cash. Cash at any time. Tax credits? We would not rather have tax credits. Tax credits is more costly to us. We receive a tax credit. We have to pay taxes on it. Gross receipts taxes and we have to pay income tax on it. Not only that, we can't use it. So we sell it. We have to sell it to somebody else at a discount. Who else is going to finance them? Will the bank finance them? No. Will somebody else finance them privately? Who? I don't know. Find me somebody. There have also been questions surrounding a part of the deal that includes property that belongs to the airport, that the airport was leasing to Cortec in exchange for property that the airport was encroaching on. After Cortec bought this, the property here in Tietzen. They had it surveyed, and after the survey, they found out the parking lot of the Customs and Quarantine Station was on Cortex property. Actually, their parking lot, almost their entire parking lot, and their ponding basin. So we approached the airport and we told them, listen, your property is on our property. That's our parking lot, our ponding basin. Ching says they worked out a deal where Cortec would not charge the airport for back rent and in exchange the airport would let Cortec use their property which included three old dilapidated buildings. So there's no rent free situation here. It's totally misleading. It's an exchange of use of the property. Now, some people say, well, you know, that property containing the three buildings owned by the airport is much larger than the parking lot. That's true. It says, okay, airport. You got several choices. You take that, you keep your property with the three buildings on it. You do nothing with it for the next hundred years. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Or you demolish it. Or you renovate the entire buildings. Ching says the airport couldn't afford to either demolish or renovate the buildings because of the environmental cleanup, which includes cleaning up things like asbestos and lead-based paint. So they let us use the property as is. If you read the, the lease, it's as is. We have to take care of all the problems. All right, if we're going to put it to use, we have to take care of asbestos, all the lead, fix everything up, paint it, and everything else. Although he would not give an exact amount, Ching says this cost Cortec millions of dollars. Now, people are confused. They said, well, you know, that's government property. So the government's leasing back their own property. I said, yeah, that's right. Don't forget, it belonged to the airport. But they gave us the use and possession. And we have to renovate and spend all that money. We're entitled to a return of funds. And we're leasing the use back to the government. Typical, normal situation in business and in real estate. Happens all the time. So I don't know why people are excited about it. So at the end of 30 years, what's going to happen? The airport gets brand new buildings or the buildings totally renovated, made useful. And I, in my opinion, at the end of 30 years, it's going to be worth at least $3 million or more. And that's what they get. They get it back. <laughs> 